Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wow Crandor, and welcome to my top five favorite videos I've made. This might sound like a narcissistic thing, like my top five favorite videos I created, haha. <laughs> but, uh, why did I decide to do this? I decided to do this because I went and looked at some of my video backlogs. I was just looking at them like, hey, I'm gonna look at these. Uh, and I was like, wow, I'm, I have 809 videos now. And so I looked at World of Warcraft 101, which was the third video I ever made. When Sham and Wow, uh... The, what was it, the gnome, it's a hard gnome life, and then World of Warcraft 101, and that was when I introduced Billy. And I looked at the date, and it said April 3rd, 2009, and I was like, oh my god, it's been five years. It's been five years since I made this video, and I remember making it. Like, I don't, it's just, it's crazy to think I've been doing this five years, and like, everything that's happened throughout that, and it's just, it's amazing to me. And uh, it got me thinking, what are my top five favorite videos I've created? I've got over 800 of them, so what are like my favorite ones? And uh, I was watching it, and I realized how bad I was back then and how I've grown. And a lot of the, like, I will, I will watch my old videos and be like, oh my god, like why did people watch this? Like the mic quality's bad, and the video isn't sized correctly. It's just, for some reason I watched it, it was like, hey, it's good, I'll put it up. But I guess that's just my standards have grown as a video creator. I know some people are like, you still put up shitty videos, like shut up. So, uh, it's just interesting, but I'll watch them and I, it makes me cringe a bit because of that, but I'll, like, the, the ideas, I guess, is why people kept coming, because like, I'll watch it and I'll watch like the, idea and the script I wrote out, and I'll like make myself laugh still. So I mean, the fact that I can make myself laugh uh, in a thing I created and already knew about is, I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. So uh, my top five favorite WoW videos, I guess it could be any videos, but I picked WoW videos just cause uh, that's kind of what I'm known for. So if I had to do a number six, like a non top five, it would be All Might Work vs. Wilds. Uh, I'll put that up on the screen. I'll put a bunch of them that you can click on. Uh, or you can just YouTube Orc vs. Wild and see them all. I know two of them were on Machinima because, uh, they made them private for whatever reason. I think I still have, like, the videos up in some hard drive, like my external hard drive. I might just upload them to my channel and be like, screw you, Machinima. Uh, either way, or I just remake new ones. Uh, it's... Orc vs. Wild. I really like that idea. I love survival shows, and so I wanted to make a survival WoW show, because I thought it would fit really well, and I think it did, and it was really popular, and I had a lot of fun making it, and I still uh, will probably make some in the new expansion. I think it'll be fun to do, like, a new uh, Boar Thrills, like, in, in, like, the new Outland, and or old Outland, whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, it'll be cool. Draenor. Uh, <laughs> and... Orc vs. Wild. This is like a director's cut. Orc vs. Wild. It was. How many did I make? Uh, I had Moonguard. I had Stranglethorn. I had Hillsbridge, Tanneris. Uh, there's Kunlai Summit's my new one. Outlands. Northrend. I feel like there's maybe one or two more. I know there's Interactive. Orc vs. Wild Interactive. That was fun. Uh, and then. Yeah, there's probably a couple more thrown in there. I just, I think it's a great idea. I tried to uh, encapture the essence of Bear Grylls into uh, an orc. And I think I did so pretty well. So Orc vs. Wild would be my number six. I know, great. Number six and a top five. Uh, number five would be the Mancrick's Wife story. Mancrick's Wife story uh, was, I guess it was made in November 5th, 2009. So only... Four months after I talked about the WoW 101, so fairly, fairly old, but it was one of my first really favorite videos, because it, it was one of my first, like, big story videos, and it talks about how Mancrick, uh, how Mancrick's wife got to where she was. If you're not a horde, you probably won't get it, but it's how people in the barrens are all like, hey, Mancrick's wife, where is she? You're like, where's Mancrick's wife? And it's a quest, and everybody would go try to find Mancrick's wife, then he had to go to Mancrick, and he is like, 
please find my wife. And it just ended up being this well-known quest and I felt I had to make a story about it. They probably took way too long to explain, but I did. And so if you want to see that, there's a link to it. I'll annotate. I'll also put all links in the description as well in case you're on your phone or something, so yeah. Uh, number four, if fans ran World of Warcraft. If fans ran World of Warcraft, I had this idea for like months before I did it. And let's see, I posted it on July 6, 2012. So almost two years ago. And I remember I had it for like four months before that. And I just thought, this is be this is a really cool concept of like the WoW community creating the game. Because everybody tells them how to create the game. Like, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong, Ghost Crawler. You're going it. And it'd be funny if you just took all those concepts that they all create and just threw them together. And that's why uh, I really I really like that idea. But I just had it I had it sit there and kind of just uh, marinate for a while because I didn't think it was good enough. And it got a lot better. For example, zombie dragons weren't in it uh, when it started. And over time, a couple months in, I think I was like, that's a brilliant idea. So I put it in. Uh, that's what happens with a lot of my videos, even, is because you'll hear me be like, oh, this video's gonna be out next week, and then it doesn't happen, and everyone's like, what happened to it? It was like one of three things, either I didn't think it was good enough and I threw it out, I thought it was pretty good, and it needed more time, so I just put it to the side, or, uh, I, I started making it, and then I was like, you know what, this is okay, maybe it needs something here or there, it's just like, it needed more time as well, or I felt like maybe it needed like a whole different aspect to it, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's, it's just, it. I don't know, it's interesting, because I have this like, idealistic sense about certain things, and then other things I'm not ideal about, so I'm like, this scene has to be perfect, there has to be the acorn in the bottom left corner, and then something else, I'll be like, oh, this is, you know, this line, the script is fine, it's whatever. Uh, does that make sense? So I guess I want things to be the way I want them to be. That's really what it comes down to. And if I don't think they're up to standard, I don't make them. There's a lot of videos I just never made, or they're still on the side. Like the WoW Hunger Games. I really want to make that, but I keep writing it and rewriting it and rewriting it, and I'm like, it's not good. It's not good enough. Or my new song? Uh, my like follow-up to the Lucky Do rap, I had a whole new song. I don't want to reveal what it's about, but I had it. I got the beat. I had it in my video editor. I was like recording it, and I was like, it just. I listened to it, and I was like, it's not good enough. It's not good enough, and I just, it's. I haven't touched it since then. That was like a month ago, and I'll just come back to it one day and be like, all right, I know what I'm doing. That's how I work. That's why it's so hard to like say what I'm doing or get stuff out quickly because that's how I do things and so uh, Welcome to my life. So fans around World of Warcraft went through that phase It took four months, but I finally made it and now it's almost at a million views and I'm proud of that And it's one of my favorite videos you can go watch it Yay uh, number three is a video I made for BlizzCon around the campfire and I I wrote this script during my film class about three years ago, right before BlizzCon happened, and it was really... I really liked the idea. I thought it was really good. I got Jesse to voice in it, I got Rarbug, and then I voiced the other part, and it's about this guy who's at a campfire, and it's like a it's like a mystery type thing. Like, what's going on? This is weird. It's It's... I, I thought I tried to make it like a like a psychological thriller or like a psychological mystery I'm not really a thriller it's not a lot of like action per se but uh, I think it's one of my best scripts I've written and you go watch it and check it out if you want it didn't make it to the top three uh, a lot of people <laughs> when I was at BlizzCon were like wow how'd yours not make it like it was really well written compared to these but uh, I guess the graphics and editing and stuff wasn't up to par, so whatever. I mean, I'm not gonna say I was like disappointed. I was like, I'd like to see my thing, my movie on the screen at BlizzCon or whatever, but probably that's just the competitive nature of me. I'm a competitive person. 
That's why I like multiplayer games, and I don't know, I was disappointed. But it did pretty well on YouTube. It got more views on YouTube than all those uh, BlizzCon entries got, so I'll take that as uh, a victory in my book. Go so check it out, Around the Campfire. There's some links. Number two is WoW Hoarders. I called it H-O-R-D-E-R-S, like the Horde, but it's a Hoarders parody. Uh, there's the shows on TV about WoW hoarders, not not about WoW, about regular hoarders that like hoard a bunch of items in their house, and I thought, you know what it's like? It's like WoW, where you have a bunch of items in your bag, and so I made a a little sh a little video about how this guy has a bunch of items in his bag, and he wants to get better, and I based it around those like types of reality shows about hoarding, and. I went back and watched that. It's from March 20th, 2011, so again, like, three years ago, and I was like, I really like this, this is really funny, and I, uh, I had fun making that too, and I remember a lot of the people I knew, like Mindflame, messaged me, and they're like, that was really good, that was probably one of my favorite videos you made, and I was like, thanks! So, uh, go check that out, WoW Hoarders. And number one, what could number one be? You might be thinking, I bet it's the Lucky Do Rap, or I bet it's How to Win It Pugs, or I bet it's WoW Class Stereotypes, or whatever. Uh, kind of random. It is How to Win at Questing. How to Win at Questing. I made this video uh, about two years ago, a little, little over two years ago, and I was... A week ago, just sitting on my couch, and I was like, you know, it'd be a really good idea for a movie, something with daily quests. And I thought, but haven't I done that already? And I did. So <laughs> I looked it up, and I was like, how to win at questing? And I rewatched it, and it was probably one of the hardest I laughed at my own videos out of like all the videos I have. And I was like, that was a really good video. <laughs> and so now, how to Win at Questing is probably the favorite video I've ever made. I legit really like that video. So, uh, obviously it's about questing, how to win format, you know, like questing, stereotypes, all that. Uh, but I think you should just go watch it. I love it. I'm going to watch it again. And uh, I know, that's my number one video. And those are my top five favorite videos. So thanks for watching. Uh, obviously, the new expansion beta is going to start soon. I'm excited for that. I'm going to be covering that intensely because I love when new expansions come out for World of Warcraft. It's like one of my favorite things. And so, uh, in addition to that, there's the new character models. I'll be able to use those for machinimas. And I'm just really excited about new expansion in general. I'm pumped for it. And I'm excited to, to go back to the roots of WoW. Because sometimes when I don't make WoW stuff for a while, it does get, it gets, I don't feel as creative or like artistic or like, like I'm putting, putting out, creative, putting out, putting, <laughs> putting out creativity. It, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's like I'm an artist that really likes to paint and I haven't painted in a, like a long time. You know, that's how I feel when I haven't put out a machinima in a while. So, uh, thanks for watching. Go watch all those videos. They're great. Okay? Okay. See you.